Hello everyone, it's Reptekhead here and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a mobile app for your WordPress website. I've seen a lot of questions that people kept asking about how to build an application for a WordPress website. And trust me, this is a perfect video for you. This is the right video that you need to watch right now. And this is also a more perfect opportunity to get more money from your clients by just offering them a mobile app along with their website. Trust me, this is not just any our application no it's a professional app so let's get started and i will show you everything you need to do step by step and also don't forget to watch this video to the end and click the subscribe button to get more information like this all right there are different ways i mean there are several ways to actually build an application for your website either it is wordpress or shopify or mix or you just use just uh HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and I've tried a lot of ways and trust me, I found the best method ever to do this. You don't need to have any coding skills at all. All you need to do is to go to this website right here. I will drop the link in my description below at my site.com. Trust me, this website, this platform makes amazing applications. You can customize it to your taste. And also if you make any changes on your application from this platform, your changes will reflect on any mobile phone that have your application installed on it. To get started, just click on start for free. Actually, there is a free plan and there is a premium plan. The free plan has a lot of functionalities you can customize your website, but I would recommend that you go for the premium plan. It is not actually expensive. It is the most cheapest one I have known and it is the best one I came across. So you can either sign up with Google or with Facebook or with just your full name, email, and your password. Uh, let me just sign up with Google. And you're going to see uh, this welcome page right here. Depending on what you want to use this platform for, either you want to create one app at a time, or you want to manage unlimited apps or space, or anyone, you can just click um, any of them and just continue. Then just click this. Okay, so let us get started to create our first application. Uh, I will click get started right here and then give your app a name and um, if you want to create a, there are two kind of website that this platform is actually good for. Uh, it is the e-commerce app and blog. So these two, they are actually the best kind of website to create a mobile application for. So um, you can either use a normal website that is not WordPress or you use a WordPress or if you are running an e-commerce store in WordPress, you just choose this WooCommerce app and then you can choose to build your own custom application and it is very cheap. Imagine how much you're going to pay for a software in the other part just build an application for you. I mean, you're going to pay in hundreds or sorry, thousands of dollars to get this done for you and uh, give your app in. Let me just use this. So I'm going to try this with an WooCommerce website, then the name of the website and uh, create so here goes our dashboard you can see a lot of settings i mean we are going to explore all this one after the other i won't be able to explore everything here but i will just show you the basic things you need to know about this dashboard and how to review your mobile app and how to export it and you can also see right here that you can also manage your app on the google play store on the app store and also check the total user that are using your app and also you can monetize your app even from this platform you can apply for the google ad mob and just get your app monetized so let us get started with the design the app icon which is the first thing you need to do if you don't have an icon you can start designing an icon for your app but if you already have an icon just upload an image and then import your icon then you are good to go I don't know if this website have an icon, but I will check to see. Or oh, I can just create my own icon right here. So I want to start creating my icon from scratch. You know, there are a lot of amazing things I know about these platforms. I mean, you can practically do anything that you want. I mean, you can just check it out and just try to explore as much as possible. There are even templates, I mean, icon templates that you can choose from. Yeah. Let me try to search for a template because this is an online store. Let me just check if there's a template for this on oh, shop. 
Oh, cut. I think that would be the perfect one to use. I think I love this. So let me just click on this. And then I think it says an icon. I don't need all this text. I don't need all this text. So it is an icon. And this works like Canva. Okay, so this is what I just did. Just save it when you are done. But I would actually recommend that you have your own icon. It will make it look more professional. You can just use Canva to create an icon, or you can hire a graphic designer to just create an icon for you. So this is how the application is going to look on the mobile phone. You can see it, I mean, it looks pretty cool. Uh, let me save this, but note that if you are using this platform, Make sure to explore everything on this uh, website. Then there is splash screen. You know, when you open an app and then something pop up with like a design or anything, and then you just like it and be like, whoa, uh, this is weird to do that kind of thing. Let me start designing. Or if you have your own image that you can use, you can just upload that image. But for me, I don't have any because I'm not really prepared for this. I don't have any. This is just uh, for the sake of tutorial. Let me see if I can get a very good template that I can work with. Well, since it's a platform that sells mobile phone, let me just use this. But remember, the best thing to do is to have your own design. Let me try to edit some things here. Okay, I just did this and then let me just save it. So over to the next, it is the access. This user consent, you can only edit this if you're using the premium plan. This login, if you want users to log in and you can change the layout of the login page. Since it is actually an e-commerce store, I would advise that you just leave this so that people can log in, but you can make it optional. And you can edit the layout here. You wrote it to the here or can edit the layout. And also you can change the background to match your brand. Uh, let me see this website brand. So there is something like a blue, like a blue color. Let me just, I search for gadgets and let me see if this will work. So this is how it looks. If you don't like this, you can easily change it to anything. Okay, let me just use this one and then click on done. So I'll move to the next one. I just, I don't like this. This is not looking too good. Let me just delete the picture and use only color. So we are back right here. I will just summarize some of the things you need to know because dive deep into this and try to show everything we have its features we are going to spend more time then the color theme this is where you can edit the color theme just to match your brand colors how you color the text color button color and then this is for the blog page or the about customizing the home screen it's another thing that you need to know the home header this header right here you can set it here header text what what do i want to be here you can see is in the this right here and book product search in bar i would okay this should be there um product search should be there then is section colors the settings this is where you can change the colors then the main banner also the settings this is where you can also put the banner in me let me see if i can get a banner from the website and then let me just download this image and then let me upload it upload image okay crop let me crop this. Okay, I think this is cool. And click on done. Okay, you can see. Uh, let me just in this the banner text. We don't need that again. Or uh, let me save and refresh. Okay, I just refreshed it. You know, one of the things I love so much about this is the fact that you can customize anything you want to. I mean, anything. You can even drag. You can drag any section to the top, and you can scroll this through and see what you need and what you don't need. The all the products I think we need all these ones. Then at the blog, well, you can choose to select this or not. But for me, I think I don't need the blog. So let me just uncheck all these ones. And then the pages, yeah, we need the pages. So this is how it's going to look on the iOS device and the Android device. You can see how it's going to look. Okay, just feel free to set everything, select the pages, and do anything you want. And don't forget to click save when you are done. The Button bar, you can see um, anyone you want to add the home. Yeah, we're gonna need the home, the shop, the categories. We don't need the video, so the profile. Yeah, we need the profile. You can also send this, you can customize the icon and change the colors by just clicking this 
arrow and then set everything on the set and save. Don't forget this is where you can change the colors. Or you can see the background color. Let me just change it, change it to some like the blue color. Once you are done editing the corners, then click on save. And if you also want to edit the menu, we can do that. Okay, we are required to connect the application to our website. It is very easy. Just click here and then install the plugin. Click this install plugin and it will lead you right to your website. Or you can download the plugin and just manually install it on your website. Okay, this is it. So just click on install. And once you are done installing, just activate it. Okay, we are done with that. Let me just verify it. Oh, one more thing before we verify, we have to generate a key. So click generate right here. And copy this key, then open the app on your website. You can find it here. Then paste the key right here and submit. Okay, the key has been saved. So let us verify it again. So this already worked. Then click on this grant access. Okay, let me teach you how to set up the application username. This username is just the username of your website. Just put the username of your website here. Oh, check this and okay, the name and then the password. To generate the password, just go to the users and click on profile. Once you get to this page, just go and then you can see new application password name. This way, just input anything you want, anything you want and add new application password so this will generate a password for you and copy the password you can find the password right here your new password is this and then paste it here and click verify okay we are good to go you can see this is connected let me see if there's any other thing we need to do nope for the settings you can put your terms and conditions here and then for the pages and products these are some additional settings that you can use. So let us preview our website to see how it's going to look on both the Android and the iOS device. So for the iOS device, let me check how it's going to look. This is just an iOS simulator alarm. While this is loading, let me check the Android app too. So you can see how it looks. These are the products on the websites. Anyone can just um, Start here now. These are also some additional settings. You see, where you can um, change the pictures here. It is under this navigation and the home screen where you can edit them. So, just you can just change the icons also. The fun part is that you can customize this as much as you want and to your taste. Now, there are two methods of installing this app on your phone. Now, you click here, this app on your device, and download it on test flight. Just download the app, and then you are going to see it on your mobile device. Then the second method is to export it. You can see the monetization right there. If you want to monetize it on Google AdWords. So export this, just click download right here. And if you want to publish this to Google Play, uh, Google Play Store or the Apple Store, click publish right here. I can check analysis. And then if you just click on proceed for Android or the iOS, but you won't be able to export your app without upgrading and that is why i highly recommend that you upgrade the woocommerce cost just 19 dollar per month and this one normal wordpress app just cost 9 dollar per month well you can go with any of this you can go with the wordpress even if you have a woocommerce store you can also go with wordpress and this is a very perfect platform that you can absolutely use to even get more money for your clients and also build a mobile app for yourself and that's it on how to create a mobile app for your WordPress website or for any kind of website. And it is very easy. It's a very easy process. So don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to this YouTube channel for more amazing tutorials.